Thank you very much uh, for your time, Vincent. Uh, firstly, I think like most people here feel it's fantastic to be back in Belgium for First World Europe. Uh, four long years uh, before the last uh, edition. How is it to be back for you? as uh, the organizer of this uh, world's largest person project division. Mm -hmm. For us, of course, it's, uh, it's a good thing. Uh, we waited for uh, four years. We thought two years ago to have the exhibition, but at last uh, some big manufacturers said no, and we had to cancel. Mm -hmm. So we are happy. And um, we were a little bit anxious. How will things get back into place? But if we see today already that things are really going good, um, we can only um, um, be uh, you know, be uh, happy for the future. Of course, uh, the pandemic was a terrible thing for everybody across the world. And uh, trade fairs in particular was, was a segment that was very badly hit. So how is it to sort of bounce back with the main show back in place and also Buswell being a global brand, yeah. you're getting your uh, other global shows also back in place. How does it feel to actually be back and you know get yeah. back to the shows? We we lost some shows in uh, abroad, but that was not only due to the pandemic. That was also connected to the bad markets worldwide, and um, we are um, we are really rational in how we do business. At the end, we have to win money. And, uh, we have to strengthen um, the big show here in Europe uh, with all our shows ar around the world. So we are building slowly but surely again on our expansion. And we do hope in the near future to have again some new locations where we can spread the Buzzworld brands. Before we go to the other shows again, yeah. let's come back to the, uh, the show which is here. Uh, can you throw some numbers on us? The show is the largest in terms of size, in terms yeah. of exhibitors. Can you throw some numbers on us? The, the, the show is definitely the largest in the world. We have approximately 530 exhibitors. We have approximately, again, 100,000 square meter brutto uh, filled with um, exhibitors. And on a daily rate, we have uh, near 10,000 visitors. Mm -hmm. So definitely, we are the biggest exhibition in the world and we offer uh, the complete range of uh, not only buses, but all, also um, accessories in uh, the bus industry. You didn't mention about the other shows uh, beyond uh, the European show as well. How many shows are currently alive for Busworld, alive and active? And uh, what is there in the pipeline? Can you give yeah. us an update? Today, we have two shows in the pipeline. That's Buzzworld uh, Jakarta Southeast Asia for next year. And we have also Buzzworld Turkey. That's already a, an exhibition for so many times. Will be also held next year in Istanbul. Uh, in the pipeline, we are busy still with Latin America. We are busy with strengthening Southeast Asia through China. And we have some ideas to go um, to the Indian market again, because we had to leave that market due to a, a, a competitor who is now active. And we need uh, an intelligent way to go back. We were active last year in uh, North America, but again, difficult markets, very close markets. So it was not an easy step for Buzzworld to go into the, the, the United States. And we have we had to step back and we have to think of a new and another concept that's more um, uh, v valuable for the Buzzworld brands. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is um, due to the pandemic, but we are also seeing a trend where large international global shows are sort of getting replaced by more region-centric, continental-specific shows. Is that a direction that you see uh, the market is heading towards as well? I don't see that. I really don't see that because Buzzworld is a, really a trademark. And if you see the show today, tomorrow and after tomorrow, there is definitely a future for the show. Why I say that? Because we have already our big ex ex exhibitors today who are already signing up for 2025. So we know if the big 
manufacturers are here, all the others will follow. And I can tell you that's a, that's a certitude. Any other changing trends that you see? Uh, one is the manufacturers coming in. That will you know, be followed by the suppliers coming in and naturally visitors will come in. Yeah. Any other changes that you're seeing in, in, the, in the exhibition industry? But what, what I really saw the last three, four years is that there was a shift to digitalization. And um, lucky for, for our events or for the, the exhibition events, we really have, have had the proof, especially the last, the last days, that people, they need to see each other. And yeah, to have a, a, a meeting in Zoom or in Teams, it's it's a good subsidiary, but it's not a primary thing. Mm -hmm. And um, definitely business is done with shaking hands and embracing people, mm -hmm. laughing with each other, making jokes, and once in a while being serious to each other. That's right. A um, few markets that you did mention about, um, North America, mm -hmm. South America, a couple of other markets as well, like Middle East mm -hmm. and Africa as well. Mm -hmm. What, how does how do these markets look like for Buzzworld? Buzzworld is, had, had always an, an aim for new technologies. We want to bring uh, new technology close to the operators, so operators can visit our B2B exhibitions, so they can, um, they can see what is new and what could be for the near future and the far future. So that's the... The, the, the vision of Buzzworld, new buses and new technology. Africa, for example, it's a, it's a continent with a huge um, challenge ahead. And we are thinking um, how to be present in Africa, but again, in, a, in, a, in an intelligent way. There is a big second-hand market. Buzzworld is not uh, connected to that market. Um, we have things to offer for Africa. and we must be sure, we must surely be present because Africa, as all uh, scientific people and um, people from politics are telling, uh, Africa has its future and um, for sure big markets uh, in front of us. So Buzzworld is thinking how to step into Africa. That is, uh, that is uh, exactly true. Regarding the Middle East, we have our Buzzworld Turkey exhibition and uh, we made a decision a few years ago to see Turkey as a hub for the Middle East mm -hmm. and to, um, to invest in uh, our partner HKF and the venue in Istanbul and to grow there instead of going to the Middle East and to split again efforts and to start an exhibition in Saudi Arabia, for example. Important, if you start a buzzword in any country, you need a country that's, um, that's a buzz country. And, and if you know Turkey, you see that here in Europe, we have 93 Turkish exhibitors, a big country with a huge bus history. And um, that's why the, the, the buzz world exhibition in Istanbul was and is always a success. Buzzworld is also hosting webinars just to keep you know uh, the audience and potential stakeholders yeah. all engaged as well. A few words on that. What is the aim of these webinar series? We are doing not only webinars, but we have also <laughs> conferences during our exhibitions. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we want to bring in um, the, we want to bring new things close to the, 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 the industry, new things in policy making, but also in technology. And in those conferences, we have different people from all layers in society to share their knowledge and and that is definitely what we need we don't only need a bus or a spare part we also need the people behind and definitely the policy makers from countries who are saying look that is how and where we are heading that is what we need and how can buzz world with the buzz industry shift into that the pandemic again for even companies was quite a challenge. But um, you know, as somebody who's part of this entire bus world experience, what do you have to tell about your own team? Right? Because mm -hmm. it was very important that teams stick together during a downturn. Of course. And I think you've come back with a fantastic show this year. What would uh, what would you like to tell about your own team actually? Yeah. 
you know, our team and, and, and the Buzzworld organization is already a lean organization. That means we do not have people doing nothing in our organization. So it was already set up in a good way. And uh, during the pandemic, we, we were forced and we were happy to, to keep our team together. And that's why uh, Buzzworld as an, as, an, as an organization fulfilled its obligation to, to keep the staff together. And it was a good thing because as you said, when you see now how we bounce again into the markets, um, Buzzworld is there, will be there, and will be there for a long time. Fantastic. <clears throat> what does the future look like? I think this is uh, a proof that exhibitions are back, and yes. of course, in particular, Buzzworld is back. Uh -huh. The main mother show is back in, in, with a bang, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. What does the future look like? How much of a confidence does, does this show give you? Yeah. And how bright does the future look like? Uh, we, we should, of course, always stay humble. and. Um, and and be aware of 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 the fact that the world is rapidly changing day by day, and with our small team, we are um, always looking out what is happening. So very important is um, how can we facilitate our visitors, our operators, and our exhibitors um, for next shows, and that is what we are doing now with the things we are busy and strategically wise we are thinking only about how can we make life for our stakeholders better so from that point of view it's important to stay humble and um, to know that things are not always for granted one last thing about this particular show how international is the, is the show in terms of number of exhibitors, yeah. also in terms of number of people who are visiting, and also a few words on the parallel activities like the conferences that you've organized. Yeah. Actually, we, we have, uh, I think, up to 100 nationalities exhibiting, exhibiting in the show, 130, 40 nationalities visiting the show. We have cooperation with um, some big uh, partners regarding our conferences. We are holding the ZEP conference, zero emission bus conference. Um, we are bringing in new technology such as the electrification, but also hydrogen, especially hydrogen for our coaches. They need long range and hydrogen could and should be the ideal solution. So all those people uh, are here today and they give, um, they give an extra boost to the conference and uh, that is what we need.